Hi guys, well, uh, my strategy is pretty simple. Uh, I look for rotations on the on the open at the market. Uh, I'm in the support that I look for is market profile and Kellner channel, and as well the as you see the Renko bars. So at the open, what I do is that I first uh, draw where did the highest and lowest uh, of the first minute candle price went to so i have a reference for the for the open and know what's going on with the price after that uh, after that uh, i check for i wait for a decision on the movement of the price uh, in 20 days this strategy works best uh, you have to be very very careful if you notice that the price is not deciding for uh it's not taking momentum uh, at any in any way or upwards or downwards and what you gotta do for example is i do is i wait for a breakout for ex in the um, of the opening range and look for an extended mov movement like this one you can tell that it did uh, several several points on the, w the way down i copy it and look for a replication of this this rotation when the price goes back to the to the opening range so at the, for example at this time it made a it made a, a low here and went back and i started looking for shorting opportunities when it came to the 5 minutes uh, sma and was a, in the upper ch Kellner channel around here. I usually, what I do is that I make a trades three to one. So what I do is I have my tool that gives me approximately 40 ticks of, 40 ticks or 50 ticks of uh, risk. And I try to look for a two for one. So in this case, I enter it in here and I liquidated my position in here. Also, as well, it's good to take care. I try to take, if I get more than one contract, I try to liquidate the first one at the next uh, volume, uh, high, low, high volume node that is uh, coming to find the price. And I look for a second way out at the finish of the, close to the finish of the rank, the rotation extension and this time for example i had to i was uh, stopped out when it, the price was returning because i didn't uh, cash out on the way down but the the this belly of the market profile gives me a way to protect i was protecting here and exactly what they thought uh, if it didn't hold that level it will go all the way to the top Kellner channel again because we were in a downtrend at this time for example i didn't get in in this movement because i was waiting for the five sma i usually tend to look for what which our area is best and i do one shot on each in each uh, rotation and i was tra aiming to get the entry here because i was closer to the again to the opening range low but it didn't went over there so what i did was to wait because uh, I didn't get that one. And again, uh, well, the rotations here start to get smaller, so it was a no go for me. So I had to wait for the price to go back again to the to the to the Kellner upper channel. Usually, what I look for is pretty much uh, rotations extensions uh, when the rotation uh, that it's called uh, measure move objectives when a rotation moves a certain dire dire direction I look for a, a similar rotation a little bit smaller to be safe to take it again uh, on a, at an extreme point uh, should be a SMA of five minutes maybe the SMA of one minute for example if I had taken the SMA in one minute here I might have been able to get in. Actually, I would have done it here. 
uh, get in, take some heat, and then I would have to take in away again some pr some money again at the high volume node, and uh, expecting uh, that I wouldn't have protected this as only break even, and I would like I would have gotten a, a bigger second contract uh, sale. But this level, the thirteen hundred, for example, that is more psychological. I would say you gotta take care in in case of um, yeah, a sudden reaction of these prices. You never know. My main indicators, well, as you see, are SMAs, Kellner channels, uh, because I believe the price moves in ranges. Uh, I don't like to be drawing the ranges. I try to to look for which uh, which uh, time frame is moving on, maybe one minute or five minutes, depending on what is doing the price. Uh, I will train to lean on the, the upper channels to look for downward moves or in the lower channels for upward moves. Um, for example, in here, you can tell, uh, I, I also of course set some self, uh, my self levels. Uh, I look for low volume notes in a higher picture, for example, in 60 minutes. I look for lower volume nodes or higher higher volume nodes, and I have my conventions of colors to to get in to know what is where it is going the price in the higher time frame, because I just have to know what is going on in this in the short time frame, and have an idea where the price is reaching at in the bigger picture without having to look elsewhere. Uh, the way I manage risk in my, in my evaluation and in in the in the real account is the same. I use I used to take uh, three trades with a risk end of about fi fifty ticks uh, per tick trade. The only change is that when I when I'm uh, ahead and uh, I have some made some money in the I have some money in the bank, I tend to try twice the risk with a second contract and I try to let it run but at first I always take only one contract and I try to cash out as soon as it's getting to a, re a possible reaction area uh, I play it safe and just charge if uh, I'm getting my way uh, after that I try to try a second contract to let it run but I I keep that one very protected in case uh, the the movements uh, not doesn't follow through. I just lose usually my first contract. The second one is very heavily protected and uh, or fastly protected to break even. The thing is that uh, that kicks me out more often, but is safer. And I keep my my original risk uh, of one of one contract. Well, on the evaluation, I took um, today. I took this profitable trade. This was a breakout. Here it is. Uh, what I did is, as I told you, I wait for uh, w when the price is. E it's uh, a momentum. I I get a got in here at the second deviation of this movement. I was hoping that uh, the price would reject the lower channel, but it will continue again to try to aim to the to the lows of this channel the thing is that it didn't it it uh, bounced really fast and I just got st stopped out in here and the movement didn't follow through the price height had to go back to the supply set side and then charge again with more momentum so it was a, a precipitative entry uh, another kind of interesting stuff that I'd like to look is the 
order flow the, the delta usually at the beginning of the session you would see that when the delta styles start to dry out you can see reversal patterns and it, it's located for example here i don't have a, a i was I, I i didn't have a clue if the movement was going to continue or not i was tempted to try to do a sale for a continuation but the matter that the uh, opening range low was here made me wait and it was a smart move here when you get like again start of some selling and you are in a good area to sell you go with the flow usually when 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 there is a lot of selling uh that's the moment to yeah, catch out if you 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 got to see the chance that the people is going a certain way and this is what the order flows shows uh, market orders that are going in a certain di direction and for example at this time the market order were looking for and they were buying more than selling and they were a lot so i said okay uh, they might know something but if they cannot hold up they are gonna keep get trapped and that's what exactly what it had happened and uh, how i got my short and my continue it with my short buys for the day again in this one the the people were not convinced that it, it was going to be uh, a move towards the upside really strong so they were conservatives and this what it shows me for example is like it was a consistent sale and that might be the reason that it was a, a deeper a deeper way on the way down.